There are three questions you need to ask yourself before you hire anyone, and your answers will help guide you towards making an informed hiring decision. Most people think that interviewing candidates for jobs is just Googling some questions and asking the candidates and trying to figure out which candidate has the best answer and then you, know, you hire them. Well, that may be true to an extent, but the best questions are the ones you ask of yourself. Can they do the job? Will they do the job three years from now, five years from now, or 10 years from now? And are they the right fit for the position? the team, the company, the culture, the mission. Those are the questions you need to ask of yourself. So the first one, can they do the job? I mean, if they've made it this far in your interview process, they can probably do the job. The next question becomes, does the job reinforce their nature? So like if they're a people person, they're good with people and they can interact well, sticking them in the back room of accounting where there's no people is going to make them very unhappy, which means the job doesn't reinforce their nature. Sure, they could do it, but it doesn't reinforce them as a person. So they're going to be unhappy. And if they're unhappy, they're going to quit, which means you might hire them. They might do the job for a couple of months, maybe six months, realize that they're not very happy doing it, and they're out of here. And that's your first hiring mistake, is hiring someone for a job that doesn't suit their nature. I mean, or they might keep working in that job. They might be a people person, but you stuck them in the back room of accounting and they just keep working there. But you know what? They're not gonna be happy. They're not gonna perform at a peak level. And they're kind of just gonna cling to you for a paycheck. They're not, they don't really care if your company grows. They don't really care about your customers. They're just gonna sit there and sap a paycheck from you. And you don't want that. That's not good for you. It's not good for the business. And that's not good for them. This is the leading cause of employee disengagement. In a recent study done by Deloitte, 80% of people are disengaged from their jobs. 80%, that's a staggering number. That means they don't care about your customers. They don't care about helping you grow. And what's even worse is you only have 20% of your people, two out of 10, who are there to serve your customers, want to see your company grow. How are you going to grow your business when only two out of 10 people really care about it, want to be there, want to serve, want to help, want to grow? I mean, this number, I mean, those numbers, 80, 20, that holds true whether you have three employees, 10, 50, or 183, doesn't really matter. So the next question becomes, will they do the job? I mean, if you hired them, will the relationship last? I mean, now, if their goals are, let's say, to make a million dollars in three years and this job only pays $60,000, they're not going to meet their own goals by working in this job. So the relationship is not going to last. They're probably going to work there for a few months and then they're going to leave. Or maybe, maybe their goal is to become, let's say, a recording star, just to throw some contrast in there to it. And the job is for a computer programming position. So they want to become a recording star on the side, but they're willing to uh, come in and be a computer programmer for you. The relationship isn't going to last because their goals are going to take them in another direction. So like I said, these are the questions that you need to ask yourself that will, which will guide you in selecting people who are aligned for the position. I mean, or worse, I mean, let's say you hire them for the job because you know, they're qualified, they can do it, but their ambitions are taking them somewhere else. What's gonna happen is they're gonna work there for a while, they're going to be very unhappy, they're never going to grow in the role because they're not gonna care because their dreams and their passions are taking them somewhere else. So you're doing a disservice to them and you and your team by hiring someone like that. Those are the people that you want to avoid. And you can simply find out by asking them, you know, where do they want to be? Where do they want to go? How do they want to, um, how do they want to grow into a position? And the last question is, are they the right fit for the team? Do they share the same values as your company? 
If their values are in conflict, then it doesn't matter how talented they are because the relationship will never last. The key to hiring people is to hire people whose values are aligned with the values of the company and your vision. That way you can help them reach their goals and they can help you reach their goals. It's like an alignment of selfish desires. The relationship essentially feeds itself where the position offers growth to the employee and the employee contributes growth to the business. It's a win-win for both sides. And that's why you want to hire people whose values are in alignment with the company because both sides can grow, both sides can benefit. But when you have someone whose values lie elsewhere, their interests lie elsewhere, they don't care about growing the company. They only care about themselves. And those are the people that you don't want to hire. Nothing against them. It's just that you're not the right fit for them. They're better suited for another company who's more in line with what their own values are. Hiring the best people requires following proven and consistent processes. Knowing what you're looking for and consistently asking the right questions of every candidate is going to lead you down the path of discovery and finding a candidate who is best suited for the position. But instead, most hiring managers use a series of ad hoc interview processes and end up hiring mediocre talent simply because they don't know what that top talent looks like, nor how to discover it when it's sitting right in front of them. You don't need to be a seasoned recruiter to spot top talent. All you need are the right questions to ask and to know what their responses mean to you. And to help you out with this, I've created the simple hiring system. And you can download it from the simple hiring system.com. And inside this guide, it's going to show you how to ask the right questions. It's going to show you how to create a job description. It's going to show you what are the most important characteristics to look for in every candidate that you hire. That's all I have for you today. I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye now.